structure is my game structure. Part of the game itself, and a lot of really great ideas. And I bring this up because none of those ideas got embraced by Hasbro at all. Um, I brought them to the company, but because I came from an academic perspective, all the stakeholders that need to make that change, and there's a lot of them. I need to get the person who does the translations involved, I need to get the person who does all the writing, I need to get the graphic designer, I need to get the whole budget team together because this might cost more, I need to get the game designer there and he's on a tight schedule. They're all sitting in this room, but I'm telling them this problem, they're all just like, whoa, this came out of nowhere, sorry, uh, we don't have time for this. Um, I learned an important lesson there today. So I would say, as a researcher, 10% of your work is finding a problem, and over 50% of your work is helping others understand that problem and also arrive at a conjoint solution with your stakeholders. So are there, are there other ways for other people on a panel that's where you feel like you engaged in some sort of research and development process and it just, it failed for you? Whatever goals you set out, they failed, um, but you somehow managed to make that up. I was sort of like, I come to the, you know, a design department which is incredibly good at what they do. They've been in their jobs for you know, years and doing extremely well. And actually, compounded to this was the fact that ever since, um, uh, you know, in, in the 1970s when Lego introduced those little minifigures and started doing play themes, the company had doubled its profits every five years and kept going at that rate until, you know, the late 90s. And it was basically had created a culture where we all thought we knew exactly what it took to make great products. And um, and back to this point about the, you know probably the biggest challenge to sort of embrace is the fact that when you're that successful, you might just be not that successful next. But it's a hard lesson to learn. And of course, the only way we then turn the company around was to really get back to close contact with kids and understand really what was a great play experience for them and start making great products again. But the lesson really uh, that I wanted to share is, is really that just when you think you've got it just right, that's the time to start questioning it all over again because success is the greatest thing that will you know, get in your way you know, and it'll keep you from seeing, you know, not seeing the elephant in the room until it's too late. So that, you know, that's, that's my lesson to, to take, take away from this.